Hello, hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Got ourselves a game against the Mexican Leo Tocino. And what are we gonna have? Kings Indian Defense. Playing it a bit slow. Should always play the opening pretty fast if you know what you're doing, at least. Now, do we play a weird B4 al already? I kind of think, like, why not, actually? If he comes here right now, we could take it, but I'm much happier with B4. I think it's timely. That's the price he had to pay for playing the way he did, which was uh, C6 capture type of style. Because you see, he wants to get his knight there. His whole game plan revolves around getting his knight there. And we gotta start thinking, like, what is our game plan? We have to castle. My question is, do we get the knight into our f3 square? I think we're going to get to f3 this time. We're not going to do our regular e2 route. I'm going to go f3. Now he's trying to coax this move, and I'm tempted to play it. I definitely am tempted to. But I probably won't, probably won't play that. I'll cast him. Make sure that the rooks stay connected, even if the queen gets displaced. Or we could just hit him and then get a tempo with the queen. Or we could even interpose with a knight. Yeah, it's a bit complicated. Knight's not doing too much anyway. I think we'll we will do that approach. I'll ask him questions. Is he gonna try the triple battery? No. No, he's not. This rook looks a bit weird. It looks a bit weird. Knight is coming out. It's definitely being called out. To come and play, and uh, I think at this location we're gonna oblige. We're definitely gonna oblige. That knight is quite safe here. This pawn is gonna be under a bit of attack, and now the plan is to get the other knight here. So, should we just start on with that plan? I guess so. Just start on with the plan. Now see, uh, we've got enough pieces on here, but he's got enough defense as well. So what's the next crackaroonie move? How do we crack through? How do we crack an onion? You can't. Well, one thing we could do Is we could we could relinquish the square back again. Uh, actually, you just gave me an interesting idea there. Hmm. Could even he could even consider playing like this, couldn't he? What if we instead come out here f4 and invite the capture? So that our bishop comes into the play. Now we got yet another piece. We've got three pieces honing in on that square. So he's had to dive in with the uh, with the knight. And it's a fairly decent blockade, but 
also not. So let's capture. And it has to capture back. And now, what's the finishing move? Is this it? Is that the killer blow, the final touch, the creme de, creme de la creme, or whatever the fuck you call it? Okay. He switched his angles. He switched his angles. We do have this. Can he take it after that? No. Okay, we're definitely starting to, just starting to pierce through the cracks here. Cracking that onion one layer at a time. Switching our focus to another weakness here. A different weakness. And we'll take it with, what do we take it with? We take, we'll take this bishop off first. I'm not sure if I needed to do that, but if we take it here. Attacking the rook. Yeah. Okay, well, he seems to have thrown in the towel, so we're just gonna support down the middle here and win the game. Uh, I have 20 seconds left. Okay, that's what it was. That's what it was. He wasn't throwing in any damn towel. He's looking to time swindle me. We're not gonna give him the satisfaction. Queen check coming up, forcing the trade. We get another trade, yeah. I can always pre move away here. We'll allow him the little bit of a cute one, just so that we can get that knight off the board quickly. Um, give him a check. Cut off the king. Cut off the king, and now just walk him home. Let's do the slow style like we learned in school <laughs> all right good game thank you for watching uh of course i'm never gonna let anyone have the satisfaction of the time swindle that's my craft that's my art okay instead we're gonna have a good long look at our our beautiful uh strategic attack on the on those few weak spots in his position Okay, so b4, not the best move, not the best move, but but I, I liked it. And I think, it, what could he have done? Well, he could have basically ignored it, as for the computer suggesting. Ignore it and change the focus of your game to the king side. Uh, so, it, that's in... <laughs> instructive instructive in its own way we we saw he was gearing up for the the usual plan and indeed he did gear up for it and uh that's why this move worked out because we understood what he was trying to do and he did what we were expecting him to try to do this is our level our 2100 level of course when you get to the higher levels they know how to change their plans now here you see we've got a lot of pressure ratcheting up here, and but there wasn't that game breaker moment until f4 came, and f4 is actually a miss. f4 is actually a miss. What's better? Yeah, I, I thought there might be some breaker over here too. It's uh, hard to say exactly. 
I mean, if we capture and he captures back, then he's got some pressure going on this. So what, do I just go up with the pawn? What? What would he, what if he just captured you? Then what am I supposed to do? Knight, oh, knight captures and the queen's defending it. I, I, I missed that. That's what I missed. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the review. F4 is a miss, but it worked out all right. And captured with the right piece and played with strength and honor here, pushing the pawn forward. Uh, a miss, a critical miss, in fact, here. Critical miss, which he could have sort of punished. Yeah, he could have made it a very playable game here. Interesting. Instead, better would have been to totally switch focus already to this side of the board and start with the shenanigans there. I mean, we did switch focus there eventually, but yeah, that's instructive. And now you can see the pressure was starting to build way too much. We did shift our focus, uh, but I, I do think I should have just played this a bit differently. Uh, I don't know about my tactics, but I don't know. And now it is, of course, just about playing fast and popping up the tail. Good game. Catch you later.